What's going on guys, it's Mesma here and welcome, well, welcome to Revo Uninstaller. Um, obviously the title of this video, people having problems with their Razer keyboards, um, maybe even more specifically the Razer Deathstalker Ultimate. Um, I recently had a problem with this and basically what it would do, I would press F, F would be fine. Or, you know, it was any other key. Um, I'm just using F as an example because I like to swear a lot. No. <laughs> um, for instance, I was typing in Facebook. The F would not work. It would work and then it wouldn't wouldn't work sometimes. But then I'd press F sometimes and it would just repeat this. So imagine typing that in to the search bar in the top of Google and it just a long line of F's come out or you know it does it for any random letter so you know I'd get to face and then it would just start spamming C's and it's like uh, I was halfway through a CSGO competitive game imagine it being stuck with the click on yeah the click button if you know what click is in every first person shooter game it's either aim down sight or in this case CSGO it's shoot imagine you're in a competitive CSGO game, Counter-Strike Global Offense, and you're just randomly shooting all of your ammo away and you can't stop it. No matter how hard you hit anything or turn anything, plug un unplug anything on and off, whatever you want to try and fix it, it didn't work. Now, for instance, if people have tampered with their keyboard physically or any coding, that is not... I can't fix that for you. I'm not Razer's warranty, I'm not Razer's support. I've just found a way that worked for me. I know that I searched online for ages, I contacted Razer, and um, this is the only way that I've found that works. So I downloaded this program, Revo Uninstall It. It's got a free version for those people who just need it, but if you're going to be using this program a lot, please buy it. I'm pretty sure it's not expensive as it's just an uninstaller program, but it's a kick-ass one. For instance, you want to uninstall. So this, this is the tutorial on how you get rid of this problem. Basically, I think what happens when you first plug the keyboard in, it installs the correct drivers, um, obviously off of just the, the main um, device driver support so that comes with inbuilt into the keyboard so you can use it as a just a basic keyboard but once you get into synapse it has so many other things like especially on the death stalker it's got the screen so it's got a mini um, led screen that is also a touchpad um, so for instance a laptop you know how you've got the touchpad in the middle it acts as one as them um, any other keyboard so your black widows um, or your your color changing options, um, yeah, all of that comes to life in Synapse, you can control that. Basically, what would happen is you would plug it into the back for the first time, and then maybe you move your computer, you maybe go to a LAN, you maybe have it set up on your laptop, and you change from the right side ports to the left side. Sometimes what happens is it will think a whole new device is being plugged in, and it will reinstall drivers. So what you'll have is you'll have this big long list of HID, controller, and then you'll have, um, oh, sorry, you'll have this, and then you'll have again, HID, controller, and so on and so on and so on. I had it four times that it would was uninstall, uh, was installed and detected as a human interface device, which is what HID is, which is basically your keyboard, your mouse, um, anything you can interact to the computer and plug in and control it with. Um, so, what happens um, when that device is installed several times? It's got clashing um, software and it doesn't recognize that it needs to read off of this port and not that one. So, for instance, if you change something on a keyboard, um, it might stuff up and write it to the wrong um, software update or the wrong version um, in Synapse or whatever it wants to do. I don't know much um, about that, but I can kind of tell that that's obviously what's happened. That something somewhere along the lines, it's tried to write to the wrong part, and it's then gone back and picked up and just got mixed up in all of its coding. Basically, what you need to do: download this program. I'll leave the link in the description. Open it up. Click the uninstall, not quick uninstall, change or repair. Uh, you can only click forced. 
um, if it's not letting you uninstall. So basically, click on Razor Synapse. It'll either be in new programs if you've only just got it, or if um, if not, it'll be down in your other programs, which will be you know under R Razor Synapse. Blah, blah blah. If you don't know the alphabet, then maybe you should go back to school. Uninstall. Creating a registry backup. Done. Creating a system restore point. Done. Now what it'll do, it'll analyze and start the program's built-in in uninstaller. So what you need to do is you need to hit next. You need to hit remove. Now it'll go through and do its whole uninstall thing. I'm not going to do it because I've done it. And then it'll come to the end and click finish. Now, after the program's uninstaller has finished, press the scan button, this yellow box right here, to start scanning for leftover files, folders, and registry items. So you've got three different modes. I always choose advanced because it scans my whole system for anything left over to do with Razor Synapse. So for instance, I hit scan. It takes a fair while, um, but it's pretty quick for what it's doing. It's scanning your whole system for anything to do with Razor Synapse or any of your drivers. So you see here, look, look how much it's come up with. It's come up with so many values. Look, 630 values, 407 keys. So these, these are your keys, your folders. These are your values. So that, that's your value. That's your, that's your key, your values. So obviously there's going to be more keys. So treat this as that's, that's a key, that's a value. Obviously it says right there, value. Think about how many things that is. That's, that's a lot of stuff. Once you've done that, you select all. You then hit next. Um, no, sorry, you hit delete. You then hit next, and it'll come up with another thing exactly like this, and you do the same. So, uh, select all, delete, next, and then it's fully uninstalled. Once you've done that, restart the computer, come back up to your main screen. Your keyboard should be working at that point in time. You then need to go to razorsupport.com. Now, software tab. This has your Razor Synapse and any other drivers you need uh, for, sorry, um, Razor has its own Synapse for Mac. PC, it's got its own um, supported products. It downloads, they're the operating system supported. The version is 1.18.21. Um, download button right there. It downloads, you install, you do the updates. Hopefully you log back in and get your stuff back and that's how I fixed mine. If you've tampered with the keyboard in any way, like unscrewing the back, voiding your warranty in any way, that's not my problem. And I could not find a single video online helping my problem. So I thought I'd make this for anyone who struggles to find anything to do with helping um, you know, get back onto track with a working keyboard because it it does suck when you're in the middle of a game and your keyboard stuffs up it's the last thing you want to be looking at trying to fix like you just want it to work 24 7. unfortunately these things happen if you follow this step hopefully this works for you if not you may have to con contact razor get in touch with the support team over there they have they're brilliant they usually email email back within one to two working days um, so they've got a really great support team they will give you steps on how to uninstall um, they didn't recommend Revo on installer. I actually got recommended this program by Ava Media, if you know who they are. They make capture cards and capture devices. So they recommended this program. So obviously it's trusted by a pretty high up company. Um, so yeah, hopefully this has helped anyone who's had problems with their Razer keyboards. Um, if you've got any other questions, just leave them below and I'll give you the information that you need. Um, if I don't reply, um, I'm actually at uni at the moment, so I may be a bit busy. I'm, I may not reply straight away. Hopefully I can get back. I've got a Facebook page. I've got a Twitter page. Go spam me on them. I'm usually on Facebook more than I am on YouTube. So by all means, go follow them and, you know, like them and send me a message. Hopefully it comes through to me. I'm just, I've got a new phone as well. So I'm trying to set it all up. So the messages come straight to me instead of checking my Facebook randomly. And then, you know, after a week, I've finally got your message. So hopefully I can set it up in a way where it's all instant and I get your message as soon as you send it. Yeah. So, all right, that's hopefully, I don't think it's been really quick. Uh, 
Yeah, it's been 10 minutes. I, I make these videos and they always go on for like 10 minutes and I'm like, nah, it's going to be five minutes long. I'm going to make this. All right, sorry about the waste of time, but hopefully this helps. If it's if it's helped you, then obviously it's not a waste of time. Leave a like if it has helped you. Share this to your friends if they're you know having problems or anything. This may work for other programs as well. Um, also, Revo Uninstaller. You can use this program for anything you want to uninstall and it'll find anything left over. I highly recommend it. If you need it to uninstall a lot of programs, I'd definitely buy a copy. Um, obviously, you may get more privileges if you buy a copy. Um, but yeah, these guys are fantastic. Um, yeah, perfect program for exactly what I needed. So go like their Facebook groups or whatever they have. I'll leave links in the description for all you guys. All right, I hope to see you in the next video, guys, and sorry about the length <laughs> once again. I'll catch you later.